Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brescher here. Today, we are all going to learn how to solve fraction equations using inverse operations. And that will involve multiplication and division. But first, let's look at an example. You've probably seen a simple problem like this before. And we were able to solve it either using mental math, or you said we have to do the inverse of 3 times x. And the inverse would be to divide by 3. When you divide both sides by 3, then you cross cancel if possible and simplify to get your answer. Well, what we're going to learn about today is just slightly different from those problems you've learned about in the past. When it says 3 fourths x equals 3, this is the same as 3 times x divided by 4. So you can see it involves multiplication and division. What we need to do when we're solving this type of a problem is first we have to multiply by the reciprocal. And that will reverse the process here. And on the other side, we must multiply by the same value. Similar to what we did in this simpler problem, where we divided both sides by 3. Here, we're multiplying both sides by the same value. And that value happens to be the reciprocal. Let's look at some academic vocabulary, first of all. What is a reciprocal? Well, a reciprocal is a relationship between two numbers in which the product is 1. So if we have two numbers, like 2 ninths and 9 halves, when you multiply them together, you get the product of 1. So 9 halves is the reciprocal of 2 ninths. An inverse operation is the operation that reverses the effect of another. So we want to isolate the variable or get it by itself. In order to do that, in this equation, x minus 3, we have to do the inverse of minus 3, or subtracting 3. The inverse would be to add 3. So that will reverse the effect, and you'll be left with a 0. And finally, we have our multiplication property of equality. If you multiply both sides of an equation by the same value, then the sides will remain equal. That's what our multiplication property of equality states. So in this equation, again, I want to isolate the variable, and I'm going to do the inverse of dividing by 4. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4, the same value, and they will remain equal. Let's look at some examples here and practice using the reciprocal as an inverse operation. So in our first problem, we have 7 ninths x equals 21. What are we going to multiply 7 ninths by in order to reverse or get rid of um, the 7 ninths? That's right. We multiply by the reciprocal, 9 sevenths. And if we do it to one side, we must do it to the other. And that's the multiplication property of equality. Then you would just simplify and get your answer. Let's look at this other example, 2 fifths x equals 10. What are we going to multiply 2 fifths by in order to reverse or undo this effect? That's right, the reciprocal, 5 halves. And what we do to one side, we must do to the other. Let's look at another example. What are we going to multiply 2 sevenths by? We have 2 sevenths x equals 8. Correct again, 7 halves. We're multiplying by the reciprocal because the sevens would cross cancel and leave us with 1s, and the 2s would cross cancel. So we'd be left with 1 times x, or just x. But what we do to one side, we must do to the other. One more time, 5, 6, x equals 15. What are we going to multiply both sides by in this equation? That's right, the reciprocal. Good job. Now let's put this all together to try to solve a little bit more complex problem. 
What do we need to do for this one? 2 and 2 fifths x. Well, in order to find the reciprocal of 2 and 2 fifths, we need to first convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. So we write 12 fifths x equals 12. The next thing we need to do is, that's right, multiply by the reciprocal. So we're multiplying both sides by 5 twelfths. And finally, we want to cross cancel if possible. When we simplify, we're left with 1x equals 5. And 1 times any number equals that number according to our identity property of multiplication. So we know that the value of x is 5. And that's how you can use these steps to solve these fraction equations. Here's an example of a real-world problem. Erica ran 7 ninths as far as Maggie. If Erica ran 14 miles, how far did Maggie run? Write an algebraic expression that can be used to solve this problem. Let Maggie's distance equal m, then solve for m. So what did you get for your equation? That's right, 7 ninths times m equals 14. Now, how do we solve this equation? Well, we're going to follow those steps once again. Step number one, we're going to find the reciprocal or multiply by the reciprocal of 7 ninths. When we do this, we're multiplying both sides times 9 sevenths. Next step, cross cancel if possible. And here, actually, we have a little mistake. This should be 2. And finally, we go to our last step. And our last step is to multiply and then simplify to get our answer. When we do, we get 1m equals 18. And again, 1 times any number, according to the identity property of multiplication, will equal that number. So Maggie's distance is 18 miles. Wow, what a great amount of exercise. All right, well, I hope this helped you out with solving fraction equations. See ya!